Hey guys, it is me, Kisame Unlimited, and I'm here doing another episode of Tootin' Boot, where I Tootin' Boot new cards that are being released, and I either say if they're good, hence Toot being a good card, and Boot being that they kind of suck and they'll go as tumbleweed and we'll never care about them. Okay, so if you would like to see Tootin' Boot next Sunday, take this time out of your day to click the like button. It's the only thing I ask for. If this video gets 800 likes, you will see another Tootin' Boot next Sunday. So if you would like to see more recent cards, get the boot and the toot, you should like it now. All right, because it's greatly appreciated. We're going to get into it. The card that we're going to be talking about today is called Ebon Void Magician, which is a new Dark Magician XYZ, and I never thought that they were going to do this, because I said, huh, they already made one, and it was really good, and I didn't think that they'd need another one. And, all right, so we're going to get into its stats. It is a rank 7 spellcaster dark, and it has 2300 attack and 2800 defense. So he has a fat ass, but we kind of, I personally would want to see more of an attacking one. I would always like to see Dark Magicians as this, you know, strong, not defensive type Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but let's see where it goes. All right, two level seven spellcaster type monsters. Well, this card has an XYZ material, you could activate quick play spell cards and trap cards from your hand during your opponent's turn. But you must detach one XYZ material from this card to activate them. That is a very balanced and good effect. It's very balanced because it's like you have to detach for an effect like this to continue going. And I like that. If this XYZ summon card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, or if this card is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you could special summon one dark spellcaster type monster from your hand or deck. Then destroy one card on the field. Okay. Now I'm going to give the reasons to why to toot him and why to boot him and what takes over. Alright, now the reasons to boot him is that I personally would have liked to see the attack defense swapped. I would have liked to see him as this 2800-23 beat stick because I don't like the idea of placing him in defense mode because I feel like Dark Magicians with all the support they got are a very offensive deck and I wouldn't like to play a card like this in defense mode personally. Alright, as for the quick play trap card activation of being able to use it during your opponent's turn that's always good because it always puts pressure but at the same time it doesn't give you anything it doesn't give you advantage or a plus one mechanic and the plus one mechanic would be like oh destroy a card draw a card you know speed consistency of a deck it, it doesn't bring that with its first effect its second effect if this card would be destroyed by battle it, it, mm, I don't see any backlash with it because it's like I mean you kind of have to wait for your opponent to kill him but those would be the reasons to boot him that when he's directly summoned, he can't give you a plus. Now, the reasons to toot him. He is an amazing monster with a good defense stat to boot. To be able to put pressure on your opponent to basically say, oh, you don't know what I have. You may think I have no protection when in actuality I do. Even the detaching quality isn't enough to boot him because for that effect because he's like, oh, because I could just spur of the moment take you off guard and that could dramatically change a game. Alright, and its other effect is if this card is destroyed by battle, the reasons to toot is for the two effects that he automatically gives you, being able to give you one of the Dark Magicians you used to summon him back for free and at the same time being able to destroy a card which automatically in the end makes him break even. In my opinion, I think he falls way more on the category of a toot than a boot. I personally think that he's a toot. I think Konami nailed this card. Like I said, I the only reasons to boot him would be that I personally would have liked to see the attack and defense points swapped. Other than that, I think he's great. I think he's a great, amazing card, and I think that Konami nailed him. I think that the art looks beautiful. I think the art looks amazing. I think I like the eye on the staff. Just amazing. He the, Konami couldn't have made a better Dark Magician. But, like I said, I really could see this card doing a lot in the game. I do think the other Illusion Magician is going to do more, the one that's currently out, the one that's like, oh, you get the special Dark Magician when we attack and shit. I think that that one's going to see, obviously, more play than this one, but I do think he'll still see play, because he brings a lot of pressure into the game. 
he's just overall amazing and he gives you shit for free when he's killed either way. In my opinion, I think he's a very good card and if you love Dark Magician and you want to play a Magician based deck with Dark Magician being your front liner because now with the new movie, Konami is putting all these Dark Magician support like in one basket because they were like, we gave it all to Blue Eyes, now it's time to spread out love to Dark Magician. And I personally feel like this is a good stepping stone for them. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you Like I said, if you would like to see this segment next week, like the video. Because they have announced that they're making a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon new version called Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. But its effects aren't out yet. But maybe in a week, maybe they will actually release the effect. So if you guys would like to hear me do Neo a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, I would like to cover it because I feel like having these back to back would be fun. So if you would like to see that next week, like the video because I don't know if it's good or not and I would love to give my opinion on it. So also subscribe to the channel. Me and Spidey upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Gaga -ga Cowboy, those like buttons, click them. We gotta get 800 for Gaga -ga Cowboy. And yeah, uh, if you haven't checked out previous videos that we uploaded, and I hope you guys have a great day and even a better tomorrow. Bye!